I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on logarithmic functions. Now in this video, we will learn how to find domain of a complicated logarithmic function. So as you can see here, we need to find domain of f of x, which is equal to log of log to the base 5 of log to the base 3 of 18x minus x square minus 77. Now we have nested logarithms here. How do we find domain of such a function? Okay. So to find domain, we know one thing that log of x, uh, whatever we have, so that argument should be greater than zero. So first part of this is we'll start from log and this part should be greater than zero, correct? So that gives us one condition. So let's write down. So we have log to the base five of log to the base 3 of 18x minus x square minus 77, right? Now all this should be greater than 0. This is one constraint. Now as you move inside, you have another logarithm. So that means even this quadratic function should be greater than 0. So that gives you the second constraint. Do you appreciate that? So that is the uh, thinking uh, with such questions. So we have 18x minus x square minus 77 should also be greater than 0. So we have two different conditions to work with and definitely in between the operation should be AND, right? So condition should both should be satisfied. So we have with AND operation. So we are basically trying to solve these two inequalities. Now I, hope, now, I, now, I hope the steps are absolutely clear so you can actually solve it yourself. So pause the video, make an attempt, and then look into my suggestions. So let's begin with the left side. So log base 5. That means we could convert this into kind of exponential function. So we could write this as 5 to the power of 0, right? So we could write this as log to the base 3 of 18x minus x square minus 77 should be greater than 5 to the power of 0. Now 5 to the power of 0 is what? 1. So so basically 3 to the power of, so this is equal to 1, right? So we can, let me rewrite one more step. Let's go. Uh, to make it absolutely, I mean, clear. So that should be greater than 1. Now again, we'll do it in exponential form. So we are left with 18 minus x squared minus 77 should be greater than 3 to the power of 1. I mean, <laughs> because that's the base, right? And 3 to the power of 1 is 3. So let's bring 3 to the left side. So we can rewrite this as or. Let's bring all of them to the right side. So we, we get 0 is greater than. So bringing x squared, it becomes positive. And I think I missed x, yeah, 18x, okay. And that becomes minus 18x, and we have 3 here, and plus 77. So, so what we're trying to say here is that this whole thing should be less than 0, right? So let's rewrite. This as x squared uh, minus 18x plus 80 should be less than 0, clear? So now you could factor. So what will give you product of 80, sum of minus 18, so negative number has to be uh, minus 18, 8 times 10, both negative, right? So that should help. So x minus 8 times x minus 10 should be less than 0. So that gives you the domain, uh, pars partial domain, you could say, right? Now, when is it less than zero? Well, it's a quadratic function, a parabola kind of like this, happy face. With zeros at eight and 10, right? So with zeros at eight and 10, and it is positive or rather negative when x is between eight and 10, correct? So that part we are looking for, right? We want negative. So from here, we get condition that x is in between 8 and 10. Perfect. So that is one condition. Now let's move on to the right side and figure out the solution. Now 
18x minus x square minus 77 should be greater than 0 or we could multiply by negative then the sign will change right so I'm applying a different strategy but same thing so if I multiply by negative I get negative x square becomes positive x square this is minus 18x that becomes plus 77 and multiplying by negative means you have to change the sign perfect now 77 and 18 7 times 11 works so we have 7 times 11 works so x minus 7 times x minus 11 should work and this is less than 0 when x is between 7 and 11 right so between 7 and 11 so that gives you between 7 and 11 correct so we have two conditions one is this and the other one which is x is between 8 and 10 right so so these are the two conditions uh, which we we get so so what is the answer for us now so now let us see on a number line both the solutions and then we'll take the and of this correct so just to make it more clear so what we're looking for one domain which is from 7 to 11 and the the other domain which is from 8 so 8 is on the right side and the 10 is kind of here is it okay so what should be the domain for this particular function so clearly the domain should be this domain is it okay so that is our final answer so we can write that the domain for the function is that x is greater than 8 and is less than 10 correct so that's our answer so the domain is from 8 to 10 so that is how you can actually solve such a question i hope that makes sense feel free to write your comments and share your views and if you like and subscribe to my videos that will be great thanks for watching and all the best